guys what i want to do is to show you how to connect this soundbar to your tv via optical cable optical cable is included in the packaging so what you need to do is unplug the soundbar take your optical cable and you go at the back port where it's written optical push the cable inside and it's in now we need to take this end of we need to take the other end of the cable the tv so go to the back of your tv where it's written digital optical digital audio and it's in optical digital audio so push the cable in put the cable inside it Now plug the TV on, plug the soundbar and the socket fan to the power. Now the next thing you need to do, you need to you select the input to optical, optical, OPT. So use the input to select OPT, optical. Now the next thing to do is you need to switch the TV on. This is the TV audio. Okay, what we need to do is you need to go to your TV settings. Okay, go to your TV settings, scroll down to the sound. And you can see it's showing us TV sound out, TV speaker. You need to select on it. Scroll to the side to optical, optical out device. Select on it. This is now connected. And when it's in optical, what you need to do is you need to use the soundbar remote control to increase the volume but when you check here is optical R device i'm going to move this from here okay so that i can increase the volume We've obviously had really sort of sub -zero. and when it's in optical then you increase the volume using soundbar remote control we're not getting frost so much so guys what i want to do now is to show you how to connect this soundbar to your tv using hdmi cable hdmi cable is included in the packaging but I want to use my own. This is HDMI cable, it's included in the packaging. And to connect this to your TV, what you need to do is you need to take this cable, go to the back. Okay, so go to where it's written HDMI out, e -arc. So push the cable inside, HDMI out. E -arc. Now take the other end of the cable, go to back of your TV, where it's written HDMI in to e arc Push it inside, and it's in HDMI to in e arc Okay, connect the next other cable to it. Now the next thing to do is you need to plug the soundbar on, plug the TV to the power, and also plug the subwoofer to the power. Now use the remote control to select the input, to select the input to, to act. Now switch the TV on. This is actually connected. What I want us to do is we need to go to the TV settings, scroll down to the sound, and it's showing us now HDMI act device. You need to select on it. If you are doing this for the first time, okay, you need to select if it's not in HDMI, you need to scroll to the side and look where it's written HDMI arc. Then you need to select on it. Once you scroll down to the sound, you need to select the sound. And depending on the, the connection you are using, then you need to scroll to the side where it's written HDMI. You can see optical Bluetooth HDMI arc device. You need to select on it. Okay, and this sound banner is in, connected via HDMI arc. Okay, then. You can increase the volume using the TV remote or soundbar remote control. 
go all the way to the, to the final. So guys, what I want to do now is to show you how to connect this sandbar to your TV via Bluetooth. What you need to do is you need to switch the sandbar on and it will show you hello then select BT once you select use the remote control to select BT or use the input to select BT it will show you no BT now the next thing to do you need to switch your TV on now go to your TV settings use the gear button to select the TV settings scroll down to the sound select on the sound and go to bluetooth and devices bluetooth and devices scroll down to search for device list select enter and they will start to look for available device so now it's looking for available device and here we go hisense ax3120g is available you need to select on it and it's connected it's this, this here we go this is the audio it's very important and when it's in the bluetooth you can control the volume using the tv remote likewise sandbar remote so from this remote control you switch this sandbar on and off this button here is input you select optical oxy usb hdmi from this button and this is bluetooth this button here is surround and this button here is preset it will show you equal use use equal to select music game news sports and it is night ai movie music so use equal to select this up and down you see volume plus and volume minus is for you to increase the volume and decrease the volume the side button if you are listening to music then for you to go forward to the next track or go backwards to the next track the center one is pause and play this button here is increase the bars the maximum bars is plus five the minimum bars is minus minus five so the maximum is plus five also the center one is treble the maximum one is plus five the minimum treble is minus five then this button here is dimmer you select minus you won't see the information here if you select plus okay if you want to the information back then you, use the, you need to press plus for you to see the information from the dimmer and this button here is mute the center one is pause and play so guys this is how to connect this to your tv thank you very much and stay blessed thank you